Last session, we started this nice paper about intriguing properties of neural networks, and we introduced two intriguing properties. One was that uh, there is nothing special about individual units and the individual features that a neural network learns. And basically any random direction in the space spanned by our neural network is interpretable. You can actually start interpreting any random direction in the space. So the message is that the entire space matters. It's not only a single unit, but the entire space. Then we started with this observation that neural networks have some blind spots. And to find the blind spots, we had to solve an optimization problem, trying to find an image as close as possible to our original image, such that our network is going to make a mistake with 100% uh, failure rate. And this is what we call a targeted attack. That's why L has to be not equal to F of X, because otherwise the solution is trivial to that problem. But then we said solving this problem is difficult. So you try to come up with a different objective function using our loss function. Basically enforcing this equality is difficult, but you can take a look at your loss function and use that as a surrogate to approximate this equality. And then that problem we can solve it with LBFGS, but it has to be box constraint because we don't want to go beyond the limits from zero to one because we are normalizing our images. And uh, using that, we were able to start with an image, add a noise to it, and then make our network make a mistake. Rather than classifying it correctly, it's gonna classify this as an ostrich. Actually, all of these columns are being classified as an ostrich or similarly here. And that's going to be our L. But then uh, a criticism might have been that uh, maybe you don't know your network that you're attacking. Maybe you don't have access to the internal structure of the neural network that you're attacking. And uh, it turns out that you can create an attack on a network of your own, cho of your own choosing and your own data do this exercise and find the corresponding uh, perturbation. And that perturbation not only is going to mess up with the network that you have access to, with a high uh, probability, the same perturbations are going to confuse other networks. And this means that uh, there is a cross-model generality to these adversarial examples. Not only it's cross-model, but also it's cross data. But something I forgot to mention last time, this, uh, these are hyperparameters of our training. And for instance, 10 to the power negative four, 10 to the power negative two and one, they correspond to the weight decay. So whenever we are training our neural network using stochastic gradient descent, we are gonna do a weight decay and that's equivalent to doing L2 normalization. You can say this is 10 to the power negative four times your parameters, the norm of your parameters is squared. That's for regularization. So with different regularization level and even different architectures, you're able to uh, attack different structures. Yes, with the neural network that you start with, you're gonna be able to uh, attack it and make it make 100 mistakes errors, but then the same attack is gonna cause the other networks to make huge mistakes with a high probability. Any questions so far? So the general conclusion was that adversarial examples tend to stay hard, even for models trained with different hyperparameters. And these are our hyperparameters, the, uh, the weight decay and uh, different structures, depth and width of your networks. The problem is even more serious. You can actually have uh, different training data sets and these adversarial examples are gonna generalize across training data. So what we are seeing here are different structures trained on different data sets, and still uh, these adversarial examples are, are being effective in attacking those networks. And it's just not about things being random. It's not about if you add Gaussian noise, for instance, with a high standard deviation to your images and hope that that's gonna be an attack. No, these are carefully designed perturbations. So to find this perturbation, you have to solve an optimization problem. And as you can see, these are more effective than adding just random noise. 
and the standard deviation after perturbations are equivalent. So these are just not just random noise. These are carefully designed attacks for that particular image. So there are two conclusions here. These examples are effective across training data and across hyperparameters and network structure. And that's why this is a serious problem. And this is a serious observation that this paper made. And they started a, an entire new field of designing new attacks and then trying to mitigate those, those attacks and trying to uh, fix those attacks and avoid them. Any questions before I move to the next topic?